Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. I hope that you are doing great today. In this video, I am going to be covering the Zotac 1660 Super, and we're going to see how much money it can make at this point in time in one week. I was looking over the videos I've done in 2021 so far, and I was kind of surprised that the videos that uh, you all were most excited about, that got the most views, the most engagement, were videos where I had used this solo mining rig that was really just set up as a test rig here and I had put single GPUs on here and just let them run for a week and see how well they did and I know that one of the reasons that appeals to me is because I get an actual amount I can see actually how much crypto I brought in during that one week the plan is going to be I'm going to take I chose this Zotac 1660 Super. Now this has Micron memory in it, not the new Hynix memory that a lot of my new Supers like the Dark Trooper rig here. These all have the Hynix memory in here. So this is running Micron memory in here, which you overclock a little bit differently. And I'll show you that. So we're going to get this set up in the solo rig here and we're going to let it run for a week. And I'll timestamp that for you when we get to the desktop so you can see what's going on. So let me get this installed and we'll get it started. All right, guys, we've got this installed. We've got it put in place. And let me tell you before I go ahead and get this started why I picked the 1660 Super. And it's simply because in previous testing, we had done the 3060 Ti and the 3070. Now you might say, hey, things have changed in the past couple months. It might be worth running those again. Absolutely agree. Also absolutely agree. It depends on whether you're hodling your crypto. So if you're selling on price spikes, but for this test, we are making the assumption that we're selling after one week's time. So for the moment, I'm gonna use the 1660 Super just because I never did it with that card before, never tested it. And then if we want, we can come back and test some other models in the future. But we'll have uh, a little bit of fun with this and, and see how it goes. So let's get it started. There we go. Make sure I've got everything connected up. Yep, looking good. All right, let's jump over to Hive, folks, and let's get this thing configured so we can uh, get our testing started here. Okay, so I need to set the overclocks for this 1660 Super. So we are going to go 1050 on the core clock. We're going to go 1800 on the memory. And these Supers, sometimes you can push these upwards of that, but I'm going to set this to be conservative so that we can stay pretty stable for one week. And then on the power limit here, I'm going to go at 80 watts. Now this is Hive OS, so we're setting not a percentage, we're setting the actual wattage here. So 80 watts, and that's pretty close to what you see at the GPU and the driver. And then of course you have to add the riser and then any other system components you see at the wall. So we'll take a look at that, but let me apply this. Okay, you can see right here, we've got the overclocks 1050, 1880 and we are gonna restart the rig now. All right, so it looks like those overclocks took and we are up and mining. We're at 31.17 mega hash right out of the gate. We are using T-Rex version 0.21.3. And once I update the flight sheet and get our new address, I will do a timestamp so we can mark the one week point once we come back and check it out. All right, so I jumped over to my desktop real quick and I just wanted to show you where we are. We've got the new flight sheet that's put in and I just named the flight sheet One Week 1660 Super. And what I did for that was I created an Ethereum address, just generated a new address in my Coinomi wallet. And you can actually add details to help you organize your different wallet addresses. So I created that in there and you can see right here, we've got a $0 balance on it. Uh, so I will put that address in the show notes below so you can kind of track when we stopped and when we started and we will be mining to ethermine for this test and lastly just switching over to the ethermine dashboard and you can see we've got one worker up right here and it is our solo mining rig yeah also pretty important so today's date is july 19th 2021 at about 6 10 p.m. so we will come back in one week at just after 6 p.m. and see uh, see how we did hey everyone welcome back it is now one week later and if we check down here at the date it is 7 26 
2021 at 8 19 p.m and you can see right up here we booted seven days ago the minor uptime has been seven days and two hours so right at one week we've been up and running currently in the minor in the os we are looking at 31.17 mega hash and look at this our efficiency has been really good we're at 100 percent efficiency at least reported on the OS side, our accepted shares is 4,321. So let's jump over to Ethermine and see how we did there. Okay, so this is our dashboard. We have one worker up. Our unpaid balance after one week is 0 0.00646 Ethereum. Our current hash rate, now this is, you can see right here, what's reported over a 60 minute window. So this is an ebb and flow here, a high and a low. Our average is 28.2 mega hash reported is what's reported by the miner, so 31.2. And down here you can see the blue line, this current hash rate, this is what pool side this goes up. So you can see at one point I had a high of, it was reported at 50, <laughs> 50 mega hash. I wish that was true. But, um, but yeah, as far as the pool is considered, I guess it is. And if I take a quick look at what to mine, if I just drop in roughly 30 mega hash at 90 watts, it's reporting that at least right now I should be making $2.03 gross profit or $1.81 on this card per day after electric. So let's see about this $2, $2.03. If I come over here to my unpaid balance, what I've got right here in Ethereum, Let's copy that and let's convert it to USD. There we go. Look at that. $14.39 right now after one week. And if I check CoinGecko, Ethereum right now is at $2,217. So let's see if we got a boost. If I hold all of this Ethereum and we get a spike back up to say 4,000. Let's just call it a quick double here in the next couple months. I think I will plan to hold whatever I make off of this card, solo mining. So if we were lucky enough to do that, uh, we could we could call it a double. So that would be upwards of $28 per week that we would be making. And right now the supers are going anywhere. I've seen them anywhere from 400 to 500 dollars. It's still pretty high, but let's call it uh, four. I think I saw one recently for 489 new, divided by 14, and that gives us a return on investment of 34 weeks. And that times seven, so 244.5 days or divide that out into months just almost nine months wow almost nine months and then obviously we could cut that in half so call it the best case scenario for four and a half months ROI if we were to catch a double on all of this right here now as I always say of course it could go to zero so I'm still pretty happy with where earnings are right now because I plan to hodl my crypto. But you guys let me know what you think. Is this good enough to get a new GPU? Personally, in that $400 range, still not good enough for me. That's why I'm not seeking those out. I actually saw a new one for about $489 the other day and passed on it. I think it's got to get sub $400 before I start picking them up again. But you guys let me know what you think. Put it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions, let me know. We'll see you in the next video. Take care, Raptors. Bye-bye.